between it is like this one between 10 to 5 it is always a straight line take care and then 5 to 0 it is like this one and from 0 onwards like this one and if the graph is like this one so of course we can say the minimum value has to lie in between 5 and 10 which we are discussed right now and just compare with the previous one when there were only two terms are there take care and so on now this is the case when the number of terms are even and similarly for odd terms also we can find out the answer I will just take one of the example for odd terms. Now, for example, if the function is like this one, y equal to mod of x plus mod of x minus 1 plus mod of x minus 3. Now, here the number of terms are odd. So, if you plot the graph on the similar fashion, you will get the graph like this one. There are three points. Let us say the first point is 3. Beyond 3, the graph will be always like this one. Another point is 1 at 1 and the another point is 0 because we are getting the critical points as 0, 1 and 3 and beyond 0, before 0 you will get a like this one. So, when the graph is like this one, you will getting only one point at which the minimum value will exist. I remember that this point is nothing but this is basically the median. If I arrange all the critical points in the ascending order. Okay. So, here the minimum value maximum is definitely infinity and the minimum value is nothing but put x equal to 1 this expression, I will get the minimum value that will be 1 plus 0 plus 2 which is equal to 3. So, the minimum value of y is equal to 3 at x equal to 1. And now I hope that this is clear. So, whenever there are odd number of terms, you will always get only one point at which the minimum value of the function will exist. I remember one more thing is that whatever we discussed right now that is applicable only if there are plus sign. Now, if there are negative sign then we cannot apply this logic. You have to plot the graph itself. And we discussed right now how we can plot the graph of any modulus functions. So, even if it is like this one y equal to mod of x plus mod of x minus 1 plus mod of x minus 2 plus mod of x minus 3 plus mod of x minus 4. So, remember here the minimum value, minimum value of y will exist at x equal to 2 because if I arrange all the critical points, so 2 is my middle point. So, minimum value of this function will exist at x equal to 2, put x equal to 2 in this equation, you can find out easily what is the minimum value of this expression. Now, this is related to till now we have discussed polynomials, linear equation, quadratic equation and the modulus equation. Now, the next part here is that is inequalities. Now, in case of inequalities, if I start with the linear inequalities, then we can move to the quadratic and then we can move to the modulus. These three types of inequalities, linear, quadratic and the modulus. Now, in case of linear inequalities, we can say like if x is greater than y, then x plus minus k is always greater than equal to y plus minus k. The another thing, when I multiply k on both the side, kx and ky. Now, we cannot state away say here that kx is greater than ky. Now, it depends on the values of k, whether the k is positive or the k is negative here. So, there are two possibilities. Kx is greater than ky only if k is greater than 0. Okay. For example, if I say 3 is greater than 4, 
3 is greater than 2. So if I multiply 2 on both the side, I will get 6 which is greater than 4. But if I multiply by minus 2 on both the side, so 3 into minus 2 that is minus 6, 2 into minus 2 I will get minus 4 and here minus 4 is greater than minus 6. So whenever k is less than 0, we can say that the kx is less than ky. And remember it is extremely important. And basically from the data sufficiency point of view. Similarly if I say if a1 is greater than a2 or b1 and a2 is greater than b2. Okay. Then we can always say that a1 plus a2 is greater than b1 plus b2. But we can never say that a1, a2 and b1, b2 regarding the product. For plus it is correct but for as far as the product is concerned we cannot say that a1, a2 product of a1, a2 is greater than b1, b2. It because it depends on the positive or the negative terms. But if in case both the terms are greater than 0, in that case you can definitely say that the a1, a2 is always greater than b1, b2. Moving to the next part, now, let us take a break of 5 to 10, 10 minutes and after that we will come back to the quadratic equations, sorry quadratic inequalities and the modulus inequalities.